Welcome to National Geographic Explore VR. Hi there. Good to see you again. Discovery awaits. Welcome to Machu Picchu, Peru. Feel free to look around. When you're ready, head to the yellow marker to learn more about what you can do here. Meet our local expert, Jose. Can you give us an introduction? Hola, nice to meet you. Bienvenido a Machu Picchu, an Inca royal estate built around the year 1450, and abandoned mysteriously about 80 years later. Machu Picchu's existence was largely unknown, until Yale University professor Hiram Bingham took an expedition through Peru and rediscovered it in 1911. He took a lot of photos. Some of them were published in National Geographic magazine. Today, we'll also be taking photos for the magazine, including a very special cover shot. I pulled some strings so you can stick around after dark for a one-of-a-kind cover shot. Go ahead and explore the site. I've tagged the areas we could photograph for the magazine. Good luck! See? Good luck, and have fun. This is one of Machu Picchu's many gated communities. We think these compounds, which are all over Machu Picchu, are where the elite families lived. This is the perfect location to take photos for the Inca Homes article, which talks about Inca houses from the inside and outside. Here you can start a photo assignment. To start this photo session, look at the palm of your left hand. See the in, in this photo session, you'll travel back in time with the help of a digital reconstruction to see how the Inca used to live. Let's take a peek inside daily Inca life. We think the building you're standing next to was the house of one of Machu Picchu's upper class families. Let's get a shot of the exterior first. I uploaded a Bingham photo to your interface. Can you match it? When Bingham found this house, someone was using it. They had a makeshift roof.
Yeah, good one. All right, let's head inside. Hey, Natalie, do you remember the sketch I sent you? Oh, I almost forgot. Sorry, uploading it now. Can we get a shot like this, too? I love this view. Might be nice for the article. Definitely. Good idea, Jose. Nice one! Ready to travel back to the 15th century with a digital reconstruction? Please outline where it goes. To pull the AR marker along its path, point at the AR marker and hold the trigger. Then pull it in the right direction. Thanks again, Jose, for helping the graphics team with the historical details. No hay problema. See, they did a spectacular job. It feels like the family could just walk in. Shall we start with the kitchen? Let's move the items around to get an image like the sketch I just sent over. We want the pot on the stove with the food in front, but feel free to give it your own spin. They'd use this cooking pot to make things like quinoa porridge, a staple of the Inca diet. Maiz, potatoes, and quinoa. That's what I grew up eating. Everybody ate maize, not just the elite. We also found traces of it in the remains of the regular people buried around the site. If you're happy with the way it looks, you can take the shot. some textiles in here. Let's get a photo or two, whichever you like. I've read that, to the Inca, some textiles were more valuable than gold. I guess those were only for the royal family. Claro. Some believe the king would only wear his clothing for one day. Then it would be burned. And I thought I burned through clothing quickly. Excellent shot. Skulls. They were an important part of daily life, right, Jose? Absolutamente. <clears throat> when I was growing up, it was still normal to have a grandparent or great-grandparent skull in the living room. So Inca culture lives on. 
Let's get a shot of those skulls in the niche. We were told these family skulls were watching over our house. I was always on my best behavior when one was watching me. Yeah, I would be too. Good shot. Let's also get the offerings left below the Ancestor Skull. We go into offerings more in the Ancestor Worship article, but it's good to show they were a part of daily life at
Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 